you read the story of the empty tomb and on Friday someone is killed and on Sunday they're gone from the tomb and you ask the question what might have happened either God raised him from the dead which is the traditional Christian affirmation or the body was carried away by someone body stolen and those two possibilities are even talked about in the New Testament according to Matthew the Jews who were hostile to Jesus' followers claimed that his disciples had stolen his body out of the grave and then pretended he was resurrected. While the enemies of Christians immediately came up with conspiracy theories to explain the resurrection, the stories told by the Gospels are very down to earth. They describe how Jesus was alive again. He ate, he drank, and Thomas could touch his wounds. It's therefore perhaps not surprising that people who have always looked for natural explanations of miracles have suggested that Jesus was alive because he didn't die on the cross. There are many versions of that story. One came up in a book years ago called The Passover Plot, which suggested that he had been sedated on the cross, that he was removed quite early, and therefore could well have survived. That's certainly a possibility. The disciples did manage to give Jesus some kind of substance on a sponge. They filled a sponge with vinegar and put it upon hyssop and put it to his mouth. And Jesus immediately died after taking this substance. When Jesus had received the vinegar, he said, It is finished. 